Meg. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today is going to be another what I eat in a day video. And I just want to put a little disclaimer out there that these videos aren't intended to be a how to guide a follow exactly what I eat kind of message. It's just to give you ideas for different recipes and kind of a starting point of how to maybe put meals together and give you different ideas as sort of a jumping off point for your own meals and for what works for you in your household and in your lifestyle. Everything is whole food, plant-based, oil-free, vegan, of course. I'll be enjoying a yummy oat recipe this morning, kind of a peanut butter and jam feel with berries. Super delicious. Love it. For lunch, I'm having a delicious salad with a smoky mustard dressing. Super easy to throw together. And for dinner, I'll be enjoying a mishmash meal. Meg's mishmash meal. A kind of weird ingredients mixed together but turned out really really delicious. I'll definitely be making that one again and everyone in the household enjoyed it too so that is also a win. I also take a vitamin B12 and a vitamin D supplement daily. Always speak to your doctor about any supplementation. Remember to like this video if you like it. Subscribe below if you haven't already. It's completely free to do and you'll be notified when I upload a new video if you hit the little notification bell as well. With all that out of the way, let's get right into the what I eat in a day. All right, I'm just about to make breakfast here. I have some rice cauliflower that I'm just going to put in the microwave, and then I'm going to mix all these lovely ingredients together, make some yummy peanut butter and jam berry oats, and this over here in this bag is just some ground chia seed. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave and I'll be right back to assemble everything. All right, I'm putting together my peanut butter and jam berry oats. This is similar to another recipe that I've posted on the website already. Um, I'll link it below if you want to check it out, but I have replaced the zucchini and carrot with cauliflower, so it is slightly different. I'm using rolled oats today. So I'm just adding oats to my bowl, adding some berries, and adding some water. I just warmed up the cauliflower, so it's already warm and ready to go. So I'm going to heat this up, add my cauliflower, add a couple other ingredients, and it'll be good to go. All right, so this is all warmed up. I'm going to add my cauliflower. And I'm just going to mix that up. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and top this with my peanut butter and jam mixture. So it's basically just my homemade berry chia jam mixed with a bit of powdered peanut butter. It's really yummy. If you haven't tried that combination, I strongly recommend giving it a go. I'll just put that on top. I'll also put my chia seeds on top. I'm actually gonna give this a little mix. It might not be the most beautiful <laughs> presentation, but it's super duper yummy. And the color is really beautiful. The purple color is really nice. Ooh, that looks nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's my bowl, ready to enjoy. I also decided to sprinkle a few hemp seeds over the top. So I'm just doing that now, adding a little, a little sprinkling. Ha 
mom's putting it in her mouth. All right, good morning. I'm really excited to start my breakfast. I have my giant cup of water here. I also have my coffee with a little splash of soy milk in it. Oh, Ryden would like to say hi. And also, I have the exact same as his mom. Yeah, so I made these yummy peanut butter and jam berry oats with uh, cauliflower rice in it. Super delicious. And I'm going to dig in. Ryden's eating the same breakfast this morning. This is so ooey gooey and thick. You could also always thin this out with a little more water or with some plant milk if you prefer, but this is the way I like it. It's kind of uh, clumpy and ooey gooey. It seems like dessert. And it's yummy. <gasps> and it's yummy. Okay, let's try not to jump around too much shaking the camera. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a little taste test here, even though I know it's gonna be yummy. <laughs> Mm. Mm hmm. This berry chia jam is so delicious and mixed with a little bit of powdered peanut butter. Super duper yummy. I love that little hack of just mixing the jam with some powdered peanut butter to make some delicious tasting peanut butter and jam. And if you prefer using regular peanut butter, you can do that. That's what I did with Riordan's. Yeah. I didn't bother with the powdered peanut butter for him. I just used the regular, you know, natural peanut butter that we have in the fridge. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna finish breakfast, get Riordan going for school for the day, online, virtual school. We're still doing that, so um, it's fun. <laughs> it's a lot of work. And you can also change your background if you have computer school. You can change your background. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my breakfast and we'll see you in a bit when I have a snack or when it is lunchtime. See you then. After breakfast, I got Riordan set up for online school and he's doing a craft here. And I try to get work done at the same time while Riordan's doing his schoolwork. And then I jump in and see what's going on on his screen and help him out with his school projects. And we chat at the same time. And um, it's a bit difficult to coordinate, but we make it work and we're doing the best we can given the circumstances. I'm lucky that I do YouTube and that I write on my blog and I don't have to be accountable to a boss. I'm really lucky that I don't have a traditional job so I can work when I want to work and um, we can make it work. We're really lucky and really privileged in that way. We enjoyed an apple together and then decided to go outside and play around with my calisthenics bars. So these are the Liber Fitness Equalizer bars. They're actually the Simnet Nutrition Limited Edition with the bananas on them. I don't know if you can tell in the video, um, but we're just playing around on the bars. We call them the banana bars because they have the banana stickers on them. And yeah, I really enjoy using these. They're really fun. Um, Riordan likes hopping onto them as well and playing around with them and it was such a beautiful day so it was really fun to get outside and uh, we often bring them outside on the deck to uh, play around with and do different exercises. Oh, windmill! You're doing the windmill and the walk kind of. It kind of looks like a windmill. My turn now. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Keep on filming. <laughs> this will be fun. Let me show you my skill. I'll have the bars linked in the Plant Fit Meg Amazon shop below if you want to check them out. We really love using them. I use them, Chris uses them, and clearly Riordan has a lot of fun using them here as well. <laughs> Should be cool. We'll see if this actually works. Oh 
Oh, you can do. So swing through and then lift my legs up. Yeah, you look sweet. You did it! You did it! You did it! You did that! You did it! You did it! You did it! You did it! All right, it's lunchtime. I'm gonna have a salad here. So I have some kale, some spinach. I also have some leftover chickpeas that I roasted in the oven. They are made using my, one of my recipes that I'll leave linked below, but I left them plain. I didn't add any seasoning. So they're made just with the cornstarch and nutritional yeast and no uh, flavoring added. And I have some Brussels sprouts. These are the smoky mustard maple Brussels sprouts. And I also have made up a smoky maple mustard dressing for over the top of my salad. So I'm really excited to put this together and dig in. Here we go. So I've just chopped up the kale and spinach and gave it a quick spin in the salad spinner. I just gave it a really rough chop so I didn't even bother filming that part because it was just a really rough, rough chop. Nothing too um, particular with it. I just was Trying to get it done quickly and uh, it's gonna be delicious. So here we go with kale and some spinach. Oh, Bryden's coming to help. Can you reach, sweetie? Yeah. Thank you. All right, next, Beep. I'm going to add my Brussels sprouts. And chickpeas. Oh, and Ryden's helping me add some chickpeas here. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. <laughs> Oops, that's okay. All right, and I'm gonna add my dressing over the top. Super simple dressing, it's just mustard, smoked paprika, and some maple syrup with some water. Super easy to just mix up and throw together. So there's my salad. It might not be the most beautiful thing in the world. I know I say that about a lot of my food because it's not necessarily the most beautiful or quote unquote Instagram worthy, but I'm very excited to dig in. My food is always simple, delicious, and I absolutely love this salad so much. All right, lunchtime. I'm really excited to dig into this salad that I just made and it's it's gonna be so yummy. Sometimes I like to jazz it up with different vegetables, more vegetables, more variety is always better if you can manage it. Today, I just wanted to keep it super simple and just throw it together really quickly. But if I had more time and the wherewithal, I'd probably chop up, you know, some onions and peppers and just other any other veggies you have on hand if you're giving this a go is delicious. Doesn't look so yummy. Doesn't it look a yummy? Yeah. Is that sweet sauce? What? It is smoky mustard maple dressing. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, we're shaking the camera with the jumping. Anyway, I'm gonna dive into this. I'm really excited to give it a go. I've eaten this many, many times. <laughs> Another great thing to add to this, which I forgot, I do have quinoa in the fridge, I should have added it. Anyway, quinoa will be coming for dinner, I guess. But another great thing is to add some whole grains to this as well, just to bump up the nutrition and make it even more delicious and more filling. Yes, it looks so good. Mmm. 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 The dressing has a little bit of maple syrup in it, so that's why it might seem a little bit sweet. Mm. Did you want to try a little bit? It kind of smells like sweet sauce. Mm. If you know what sweet sauce is. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try a little bit? Yeah, you want to give it a little try? With some sauce, please. <laughs> some sauce? Yeah. Mmm! Kind of spicy. Kind of spicy. Kind of spicy, yummy. Oh. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dig into the rest of this salad and enjoy it. I am also going to drink another big glass of water. That's huge. <laughs> yeah, and so I'll see you again when it is snack time or dinner time, whenever I eat again. See you in a bit.
And I can do show my play at dinner. Yeah? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Let's go. We decided to have some cantaloupe for a snack, and Riordan was having a lot of fun helping me scoop out the insides. And I chopped off the whole cantaloupe. We didn't eat the whole thing, but I chopped it up so we would have it in the fridge for our snacks for the week, or for a couple of days at least. And uh, we shared a plate of yummy cantaloupe. All right, so I'm making a bit of a mishmash meal tonight. I'm adding some leftover onion and some peppers to my pan here. It's nice and hot. And I'm just going to throw a bunch of different ingredients together and hope it tastes good. So uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, adding some frozen mixed veggies to my pan here as well. Adding in some black beans and some chickpeas, adding in some hummus, and I'm adding some HP sauce here. It's not the most full cool food ingredient product available. Um, you could use a barbecue sauce or another sauce that you prefer, but this is just what we have on hand. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. I'm going to warm up some quinoa and some frozen broccoli. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put together my plate. I'm starting with some broccoli here. Next, I'm adding some quinoa. And finally, I'm going to add some of that bean and veggie mixture. All right, it's dinner time and I'm ready to dig in to this yummy plate. So I have some broccoli, quinoa, and this yummy mix of chickpeas, black beans, mixed veggies with hummus and HP sauce. If you wanted to try this at home, you could swap out the HP sauce for a different sauce like hot sauce or uh, barbecue sauce, something else, but that's just what we had on hand. Mmm. Really yummy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mix all of this together and enjoy it. And I'll be back when it is time for, I was gonna say a snack or my next meal, but there's no next meal, it's dinner time. So I suppose I will be back after dinner for a snack. Probably a snack and a cup of tea. See you in a bit. Good? Mm. Cool. All right, let's check in on dad. This is new mishmash meal. Is that what mommy's done? So those are not new, but that is new. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. It's quite good. It's good. Yeah. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's like sweet mm -hmm. vegetables, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want a little more sauce, like a bit more hummus or a bit more HP? No, um, I like it. No, it's yeah, good. I like it. Cool. Good to know. I'm gonna make some popcorn tonight for dessert. So I'm just going to measure out the popcorn here. 
I'm using this microwavable micro popper and so I just fill it to the line in the lid here and then and I think I'll do that again so we have some leftover popcorn for tomorrow and Ryan might want some tonight as well um, Chris might want some too so And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna pop it in the mic microwave. No oil or anything required. If you did wanna add um, a vegan butter or oil of some kind, you could put it in the lid here and it has holes in it so that it just distributes throughout the popcorn as it pops, but we don't use oil. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it like that. It always turns out beautifully. I highly recommend this easy microwavable popper. I'll have it linked in the Plant Fit and Egg Amazon shop linked below. We also talked about this uh, during our last video when we were talking about pantry staples, so you can check that out as well. While my popcorn is popping, I'm also going to make a cup of tea. I'm having a cup of Earl Grey tea tonight. And I'm going to add a little splash of almond milk. All right, it's after dinner and we're hanging out, watching some TV, watching, what are we watching? Dr. Binox. Dr. Binox. If you have kiddos, check it out. Learn something new. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we're going to share some popcorn. Yummy. Yummy. And I have my cup of tea here, my Earl Grey tea. I love tea and popcorn. I don't know if I'm the only human <laughs> that enjoys tea and popcorn together, but I really enjoy it. <laughs> Do you think that's weird? <laughs> I know you're snitching some. That's okay. Do you think it's weird that mommy likes tea and popcorn? I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it? Yeah. But I, I do like cereal and a little bit of like tea that I dip it in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I also have more water here with me that I'm going to finish up. That'll probably be it for me for tonight. I might have a couple dates later, actually, just for something a little sweet. I do have a bit of a sweet tooth, so I might have a few dates just to kind of finish off the <laughs> night. But I think that's about it. So we're going to get Riordan ready for bed soon, and Chris and I are going to watch some TV. In a previous video, I mentioned that we were watching Parks and Recreation, and we have long finished watching that. We actually watched Working Moms and have watched that entire show as well, all of the seasons thus far, and it's amazing. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's very funny. And now we're watching Superstore. So oh, I'd love to hear what you're watching, if you're watching anything interesting on Netflix or Prime or <laughs> anywhere funny. else, let me know what shows you're um, let me know what shows you're interested in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Remember to always do what works for you. This isn't a how-to guide of you should eat exactly this way or eat exactly what I eat. I always recommend doing what works well for you. And you do like a tiny bit different than ours or like exactly non, like totally different. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe below if you haven't already, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. There. <laughs> Bye. Bye.